Uh, that's a good question. I mean, to me, um, this is the message. We're, we're being tested. Um, thus far, we have not responded, you know, accordingly. Um, but it's a true test of who we are, what we're about um, as a team and as individuals. You know, I think it's uh, we've shown the ability to be resilient, to bounce back, um, to keep fighting. Um, and, I, you know, at times it's it's waning. And I think that's where the frustration is, you know, uh, whether it's going well or not, where are we? We have to find a way to collectively and individually um, dig down and, and find the best versions of ourselves. Right now, we're, we've done that in moments, but the, the issue of consistency. What do you feel like is the source of the frustration? Is it the losses? Is it, it in what, what is it? Uh, for me or for them? I don't know. I can't answer for them. Um, I'm not going to answer for any individual. My message and my frustration is how we're losing. It's not the losses. You know, that's a frustration aside. That's a given. Uh, but yeah, the competitive spirit always isn't there. The, the collective, collective uh, mindset isn't always there. Um, our care factor is not always there. Um, so it's uh, that's my frustration. Um, we were a quality defensive team. I don't know if we were as good as we were according to the rankings, but we're definitely not as bad as we've been, you know, as of late. That's bottom line. We haven't changed anything. It's just more: do we care enough to make it a priority? Where, where does the care factor have to come? I mean, obviously, from within. From, somewhere from within. Place. Bottom line: do we have pride individually and collectively? to take a stand and say, you know what, this is how we're going to play. We're going to at least bring this dynamic to the game every night. It's a challenge. It's not easy, um, but that's what I'm looking for. When you guys have been getting away from the solid defense that were, where do you see that flip in the third quarter look strong in the fourth? Is it just, is it the first thing to go? Uh, no, I think the, the first thing to go is we start missing shots. And we, we, they went on a 6-0 run, I think, in the third, 6-0 mm -hmm. to start the fourth. Um, where we're, we're not getting the payoff. And, and now all of a sudden we're worried about the next shot. We're, not, we're worried about the next possession instead of getting back and anchoring our defense, getting a stop, which I think would help facilitate some of the easier offense. What do you, what do you see with after uh, Andre St. Brown gives him the Dolphins to 89-77 and then they scored 13 straight points? Mm -hmm. Well, they had momentum. They were playing downhill. They were attacking. They got to the line. Um, our inability to contain one on one. Um, we weren't in their shrink spots and allowed them just to drive into our paint. I think that opened them up and gave them a little more confidence. They, they started playing with a little more pep, a little more life. Um, and we struggled once again to make shots on the other end. And now they're just, you know, running it down our throat. Chase. Hey, Wes, um, in the fourth quarter, you guys uh, only scored 16 points for 0 for 6 from 3. What was kind of the common denominator there for why you guys weren't able to score? Uh, I mean, it's it's easy to say we missed shots. I, I have to look at it, you know, intently. I got to watch the film. But, um, you know, they they could smell the blood in the water. Um, so I give them credit. They, they picked it up and they pressured us. I still thought we had some, some decent looks. Uh, we missed some, you know, finishes in the paint. Um, but it's one of those things when it, you know, it rains, it pours and you start overthinking it. Um, and then it, all those things start to compound themselves, um, digging yourself deeper and deeper. So um, my biggest concern is on the defensive end. Obviously, 16 points isn't going to cut it, but um, we gave them life and allowed them, you know, back in the game, uh, gave them momentum. What can you guys do about, you know, your, your struggles with paint defense this year? Um, you know, you do have like a, a rim protector and Daniel Gafford, just kind of like what, what kind of what needs to happen for it all to come together? Well, it starts at the point of attack. It's easy to just say, you know, that that guy, Gaff or Trez or Big can clean it up at the rim. That's a good thing to have. But, um, you know, some of it's knowing personnel and understanding tendencies. Um, you know, we can't let a guy continually play to a strength. But we also have to be in coverage spots. I mean, you know, it's trust your help. Don't rely on it you know, be able to get in the gap, show a crowd, you can do both. 
and get out to three point shooters. Um, and I think a lot of times we're spread out and now they're attacking downhill, which opens a lot, a lot of things for them. Obviously Gafford was able to return, but what did he tweak in the first quarter that made him leave the game? Honestly, I don't know the medical term. I think it was a mid midfoot sprain of some kind. Uh, I think it just came down awkwardly. So I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't believe it's anything significant, but uh, you know, it was good to have him return and I think he'll be okay for tomorrow. Neil. Hey coach, just what's your message to the team, you know, after, you know, another disappointing performance? Well, you know, I said that to begin with, I mean, it's a test of our character. Um, it's a, it's a test for us to see, you know, how we respond. Are we going to, you know, split and pray? Or are we going to pull together? You know, even if it's doesn't translate into wins, um, where are we collectively? Are we still in the bunker or not? And I think that's the, kind of the message because this has been a, a rough stretch, no doubt. I think a lot of things haven't gone our way, but um, we have to find a way to dig ourselves out, bottom line. You know, there's no cow coming with a hill to help us. We have to do this. And then the guys in that locker room, we have enough to, to do it. Is there anything that you have said previously in this rut or, you know, say more so, or is it more so to them that, okay, well, there's only so much I can say and you guys have to be the ones to figure it out? I mean, you still have to keep talking. I mean, it's not, hey, it's on you, you guys. It's on, it's on me as a head coach. It's on us as a staff. Uh, we're in that bunker too. Uh, we have to find ways to help our guys. It's not just, hey, you guys got to do it on your own. That's unfair. Um, so, you know, we have to take the lion's share of responsibility too. It's, it's not, it's everyone, you know. And I think that's the, uh, the theme for us. We have to pull, pull together. We got to find a way to fix it. Thanks, guys. Safe travels. I think we have one more in person. Yeah, Wes, you talked kind of a lot about the rewards, not seeing the rewards when shots aren't falling. What has to happen, especially for a team where you guys have a lot of shooters, for them to kind of say, I actually I don't need that reward, or I can get the reward on the defense? Like, how do, how do you get a team to just lock in fully to a defense when? It takes time. It does. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, the, the reward or the, the carrot, whatever you want to call it, it's, you can see, both sides of it. You know, it's easy to say, hey, when I make a shot, I feel good about it. Um, we should feel just as good when we get stops. And, I, and it's, it's just a mindset. You know, I think it's, it takes time for individuals, but also a team, a group to collectively um, adhere to that. It, it just doesn't happen overnight. We haven't um, talked to you in a bit. What, do you, what are you seeing lately in kind of the team turnaround here from the first part of the season? You know, I'm not uh, the right, maybe the best guy to ask, but um, what I'm seeing is a very talented team that is kind of a little bit on a downhill now. And uh, I think we have great character in the locker room. I think we have great guys that have been through a lot of ups and downs in their career. And I feel like we have the tools to uh, start winning again and start uh, looking like we, uh, we've we looked in the beginning of the year. So, you know, as much as I, you know, down now because we lose and not winning like we should, I still believe in our guys and I know we got to find a way to get it, get out of there, so. What do you feel as someone who has really kind of made a name for himself on defense? What happened there where you guys were so locked in and everything? Because uh, Trez mentioned complacency in, in practice yesterday. Did you sense any of that? Complacency? I never heard of this word before, so you need to explain what it is. Like, um, you guys were winning and everything like that, so you kind of eased up. You maybe don't have to play hard on defense. Triz uh, got a point, but I think it's more of, I don't know, we need to keep playing together. We need to keep trusting each other. I think um, we believe in each other, but the trust a little bit uh, went down. I think we need to trust each other more. Uh, we need to know that we have a great group of guys around that can make big, big shots or, or big plays. And I feel like um, we just need to move the ball and, and find uh, maybe better shots, maybe take more pride on defense. But, but the talent is there. Don't get me wrong. We got great scores. We got, we got a great experience. So, I mean, we just need to figure some out. And, and we got the, the right coaches to do it. We got the right staff around to do it. Um, it's just a matter of time. How much are you 
are the team's difficulty scoring the ball impacting the way it is defended? Again? How much are the team's troubles on offense, not shooting, for example, not shooting like you guys are accustomed to shooting, carrying over to the defensive end? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it's frustration. Um, I don't think we have any connection between our offense and our def defense. Like some games, I feel like we get outscored. Um, our offense is good, but our defense is not not really good. But some games, I feel like our defense, we were better, but just the shot's not falling. You know, it's like, it's no explanation for this. It's like, we had games that we played good defense, but the shots weren't falling. When we played good offense, it, we didn't really play good defensively. So I think we just need to find a balance. You know, it's not, we don't need to really overthink this situation right now. I feel like everybody's a little down. Yeah, we're losing. Yeah, we're not uh, like we've been in the place we've been in the beginning of the season. But I think we're going to be on the right road soon. So um, we'll let the guys chill, we'll work on what we need to work, and I think we're going to be better. How hard is it to not overthink when you guys are in the That's the, that's what makes the job a little hard, you know, so um, I think everybody been through, we, we all experience, uh, we all been throughout our basketball careers, we had uh, periods that we were a little bit off, or we didn't play as good, or the team didn't play as good. There were some periods like some of the guys won a championship or played good like good season. So we just need, as I said, need to find a balance. It's a slump. We're gonna get over it and um, get the win in soon. So, Chase. Hey, Denny. Um, what do you think has been um, troubling you guys defending the paint? This year, it's been an issue all year, and, and tonight they they had sixty eight paint points. Honestly, I got I'm not I, I got no no answers no answers for that. To be honest with you, like getting points in the paint, I think it's not. Maybe you think I'm gonna say like the big guys. It's, it ain't the big guys' fault. I think it's it's a team it's a team defense, and we gave up. I don't know how many points you said, but it's on us. So I just don't have answers for that right now, you know. Neil. Hey, Denny, I'm curious, just what was their last two games like starting and then, you know, back to the bench today? Do you try and do anything differently or are you just mostly trying to still play your game? I'm just playing my game. Any chances that I get, I'm trying to grab it with two hands. Trying to do the best for the team, trying to be, uh, trying to make the right play. So either I'm starting or not, I'm, I'm just coming to try to make an impact in the end of the day. So, yeah. And not necessarily about this game, but what's been your relationship like with Montrezl Harrell? Like, how has that grown since they training camp to now? I've heard that you guys have, you know, a pretty good relationship. Yeah, me and me and Trez, really cool. Um, think we all we all we like family. I mean, all the guys, great group of guys. I mean, it's like normal teammates relationship. You know, we like each other. We like to play each other. We have good chemistry on the court. Nothing, you know. So about it. But I like Trez. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I don't think I hate him or something. I like him so. Resilience was one of the strongest qualities over the first 13 games. Where where is that level of resilience now? Is it where you want it to be? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, looks like we still have it. Um, I think it's just sustaining it. You know, um, not getting tired of doing the right thing. Not getting tired of giving that extra effort. Um, it's tough, you know, we're fighting through adversity. Uh, you know, we got to be better defensively, I know for sure. Um, but more or less, I think we still have the fight in us. We just got to, we got to sustain it. You know, sometimes teams are going to go on runs. We got to stay poised and, you know, hit back. 
I know that the defense isn't where you guys want it to be, but how much are, is the frustration with the offense uh, bleeding into everything? Uh, I mean, human nature, I think it plays a little factor into it. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's crazy and cliche as we try to make it. We can't allow that to happen, you know? I mean, it's, that's easier said than done, too. Uh, but at the same time, we're pros. We have to be able to do that. You know, we have to be able to, when things aren't going our way, still, you know, find ways to win, you know, find ways to impact the game. Uh, you know, and it's always defensively. You know, you can control our efforts on defense. Um, so uh, it's just a matter of doing it. You know, we can't keep talking about it. We can't keep, you know, pointing out this is the problem. This is the problem. We got to do it. Right, just, just regarding lineup of uh, Mitchell Fox and Hollywood, did it, did it give you guys you know, a little bit of problems, you know, with their, with their, basically with their, with their quickness and their playmaking skills? Uh, yeah, to an extent. I mean, they're, those are all three talented guards. Uh, you know, Fox is very crafty and fast. You know, he's beyond fast. You know, he can get in the paint at, at pretty much at will on us tonight. And, uh, you know, Will Mitchell is, is a pest on the defensive end. And uh, he's actually, he's crafty with the ball too. And, and Troy and Halliburton, he's the same way. You know, he's very, he plays at his own pace. You can't really speed him up. They play well for a, a group of young guys, you know. Uh, and, and I think their group definitely came in and made a little impact for sure. I think the, the run early in the fourth kind of hurt us a little bit. Uh, you know, they got their juices going and they, they, they maintained it. Brad, you've obviously been through slumps like this in your long career before. When something is happening like this right now, do you keep trying to solve it? Do you go back to, okay, what's worked for me before? What did, how did you get out of this last time or this problem? Or no, you just a different solution. A little final line, a little final line, Ava. Uh, it's, you definitely, uh, you know, you take what you learn from your old vets, you know, from your experience as a player and when you were in these times. And, you know, you, you definitely remember, you know, times in, you know, your camaraderie build and, you know, how you get out of those things. Uh, but at the same time, you understand what you have in front of you on your plate. You know, the group is totally different. Uh, uh, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's something that we, we have to do collectively. You know, one man isn't going to pull us out of this. Uh, you know, everybody has to be on the same page and uh, I think we'll be all right. You know, it's, it's definitely, like you said, it's, it's tough to take things from the past, but, you know, basketball is a game that kind of repeats, every history almost repeats itself. So there are some things that are working, you know, you definitely adjust to what you have in the locker room. We asked Wes the same thing, but um, what is your, I guess, primary frustration right now? Losing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's is it the way you're losing, is it the people you're losing. To? I mean, we we. I mean, I I don't disrespect any team, so I would never say it's who we're losing to. Uh, but it's, it's definitely uh, it's it's 100 how we're losing. You know, it's and I think the frustrating part comes in because there's there's so many different things, there's so many different ways of, in which we're losing. They're too inconsistent. You know, if it's one thing, you know, it's easier to just oh, we got to be better pick and roll defense. One game is pick and roll defense. One game we can't guard guys, you know, just keeping our man in front of us. One game we can't box on rebound, you know, so it's, we have to eliminate all the little things that we kind of ended up letting build up the bad habits and, you know, kind of kicking us in the foot right now. So, uh, you know, we just gotta, we gotta be better, you know, eliminate all the, the, the bad things, uh, you know, the bad plays and, you know, control we can control and, uh, and we'll get out of it. You know, you can't get tired of doing the right things. Chase. Hey, Brad. Um, what can you guys do to fix your your paint defense? Uh, we can guard the ball better as guards. We can be into the ball a lot better, uh, and we can be more physical. You know, we can we can hit bigs when they're rolling to the paint, like our bigs are getting hit. Uh, guards have to be more physical on the ball. I think sometimes we allow guards on other teams. You know, too much freedom. You know, sometimes they can stop behind the screens and shoot, get down and paint. You know, and they're untouched, unbothered. You know, sometimes no contest. Uh, so us guards, we got to be better. We got we got to be a lot better on the ball. Uh, 
base, we got to be physical. And everything has to be a collective effort, you know. Uh, it's, it's tough to pinpoint one thing, Chase. You know, it's it's, it's a collective thing and all, but we each, we each, in, each individual has to be better, for sure. Neil. Hey, Brad. Coach was telling us, you know, between Spencer not playing last year, you know, new coaching system, new teammates, you know, 29, 30 games isn't a whole lot. What have you tried to do to maybe just help accelerate that chemistry or help get him back to the player that you guys hope he is and know that he can be? Uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure what we're looking for chemistry wise. I've heard that the last few interviews, but I mean, Spence and I's chemistry is fine. I mean, if I'm not sure if your question you're asking is why isn't Spence scoring 20 to 30 points, then I don't know. Um, but our chemistry is fine. You know, there's no problems with us on the floor. Uh, I feel like he gets us in actions and he gets us involved. I think we definitely want him to be more aggressive. You know, we want him attacking more. We want him kind of being selfish at times, looking for himself. Uh, you know, getting guys shots. You know, be be who we know he can be. Um, and we're going to continue to work it. There's no, I'm not sure what we're trying to pinpoint it to, um, but, you know, we're, I think uh, we more or less play within our system. You know, I think Spence does a solid job of doing that. But obviously I would love for him to be be more aggressive. And I've told him that plenty of times. Thanks, Brad. Safe travels. Thank you. Last question, Christos. Hey, Brad, hope you're doing well. Uh, <laughs> How are you worried about the way that you close the game out tonight? My bad, my man. I lost. You said, how do I feel about it, the way we close the game out? Yeah. Yes, yes. How are you worried about that? Uh, I'm worried in the sense that uh, we have to have a better sense of urgency down the stretch. Um, understanding fourth quarter is always winning time. You know, we have to be locked in. We have to be engaged. Um, every play matters. Every possession matters. Um, so everything we do is going to be a little bit more magnified in the fourth. You know, every mistake, every miscoverage, every turnover, every, you know, every mishap. You know, everything is going to be kind of magnified. So understand the fourth is all about winning time. Got to be locked in. Uh, and we got to be better. We got to do better at sustaining our wounds. Do you notice any kind of lack of confidence in the team? You said, do I have a lack of confidence in the team? Yes, yes. No, I don't. Um, I don't think we lack confidence in each other either. I think we go out each and every night. I think there is a confidence we have, you know? I think we definitely, we need to get our swag back for sure. We got to get out of this little, little slump. But um, no, not, not, not for a second have I ever lost confidence in this team.